हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ दार्शनिक दिस इज अक्षय कदम सो गाइस टुडे ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ दार्शनिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स ऑफ इथिक्स एंड सो इन टू डेज लेक्चर गाइस आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू आसाम स्टेट सिविल सर्विसेस एग्जाम पेपर ऑफ इथिक्स सो एज वी नो यूपीएससी एंड आसाम स्टेट सिविल सर्विसेज एग्जाम का सिलेबस इज ऑल द सेम एंड सो यूपीएससी एंड एपीएससी बोथ हैव इथिक्स जनरल स्टडीज पेपर फोर दैट इज इथिक्स इंटीग्रिटी एंड एप्टीट्यूड and so in this class i am going to discuss with you okay two questions from uh, assam state civil services uh, cc mains examination of 2022 okay that was conducted uh, recently and so uh, this question paper i am going to discuss with you thoroughly uh, uh, two questions and uh, what answers i will write okay how i will present the answer structure the answer uh, analyze the answer okay that i am going to discuss with you in detail already i have uploaded okay uh, th three lectures in which i have all already discuss six questions from the same paper and i will keep on uploading uh, in uh, next few lectures the remaining questions okay so that is the first question okay uh, first question here uh, in apsc cc mains 2022 okay exam uh, from section a uh, question number 7 uh, that we are going to discuss okay so question is guys an effective public servant must be a good leader rather than good boss comment okay see an effective public servant must be a good leader rather than good boss comment what are the three most important leadership qualities that public servant must possess okay 150 mark me uh, 150 word ke liye 10 mark me you have to write the answer that an effective public servant must be a good leader rather than good boss what are three most important qualities that public servant must possess as a leader three qualities uh, important leadership qualities so first guys here okay keyword is comment okay so whenever guys uh, you have a suffix comment then first thing you need to do is express your thoughts without need for extensive evidence you did not give the extensive elaborative evidence but you should be able to give your thoughts back your argument or whatever question says you should be able to back it with some uh, arguments proper arguments you should be able to comment uh, 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 the, on uh, the said argument uh, your thoughts in a convincing manner and if you could give evidence that's well and good but even if you don't have justifiable evidence you should be able to at least uh, communicate and convince the reader uh, that this statement is correct a good leader is more better effective leader than a good boss okay so first we will discuss this question guys so i told you in my app classes on darshanik is app okay i uh, uh, discuss with students a uh, lot of uh, different uh, qualities or foundational values for civil service ethical elements in governance okay civil services values so in which i discuss almost 20 25 values like integrity probity objectivity accountability transparency economy efficiency effectiveness uh, uh, there, there are more than 20 25 i have discussed uh, in my app classes so there guys i discuss two qualities very important economy uh, efficiency or efficiency on one hand and effectiveness so here first you have to start your answer okay by debating by introducing or first defining these terms and there are two key terms effectively uh, effectiveness and leadership so what defines effectiveness in governance administration and what defines one leader what qualities uh, or traits personality traits that leader should have you should define that and then go on analyzing to be effectively effective in administration being good leader is more important than good boss so what qualities good boss have and what qualities good leader have more than a good boss that makes him effective leader so first of all you have to define effectiveness what is effectiveness okay so in good governance economy or efficiency and effectiveness are two important pillars of good governance okay citizen centric administration maybe you will come across this term effectiveness okay so what is effectiveness guys so effectiveness means governance that is result oriented outcome oriented goal oriented governance okay so i will start my answer with that uh, uh, discussion of defining effectiveness defining leadership qualities then i will go on discussing how good boss behaves and how good leader behaves i will contrast in two three points their behavior styles management style administrative styles and then in the end i will discuss that these these qualities that good leader have are very important to be effective and they have direct link between these leadership qualities and effectiveness okay and so and with that i will conclude my answer that why good leader can only be effective leader 
and then I will go to the second part of the question that what are the three most important leadership qualities that public servant must have and there I will discuss with you three important leadership styles and in my app classes for one hour I discuss these three subtypes leadership styles which are more important in administration so I generally tell guys while writing answer write more than others okay and write unique write different than others now most of the students while writing uh, three important leadership qualities they will like they will write leader should be visionary leader should be uh, innovative leader should be compassionate empathetic don't write this naive answers guys if you want 140 150 marks in ethics paper then write more than others write different unique better than others so i will in this end discuss with you three leadership qualities which are very important in administration in my app classes, I discuss them in detail, but I will give you over you. And these three important leadership qualities are strategic leadership, innovative leadership, and transformational leadership. If these three traits are there, they, these three traits, leadership traits, will make that particular bureaucrat, civil servant, the most successful in the uh, administration. And so write those qualities. Don't write this basic vision, innovation, empathy, and uh, uh, like that. Okay. Give, uh, give a vibe that you are a well-read person. You have core content with you. And write answer accordingly so let's comment on this so first i will start my answer okay explain the core concept or value related terms first so i will first begin my introduction with the word, uh, meaning of effectiveness so what is effectiveness so effectiveness i told you okay efficiency effectiveness in my app classes i contrast compare that in detail efficiency means input output ratio getting more output in less input effectiveness means whether we get desired output that we intended so you created a school in less money, uh, less amount, less money, less cost to the government exchequer. That's efficiency. But if once you constructed a school, is it of good quality? Had it led to increase uh, in the educational indicators of the uh, kids, etc., or not? That is measured by effectiveness. So effective governance means outcome-oriented governance, goal-oriented governance, result-oriented governance. Okay, where you focus on uh, outcomes, the results. Okay, you evaluate performance of your policy scheme, etc. Whatever department ka jo goal hai, objective with which your department is created, whether your department is delivering that objective or not. And just to give you a uh, 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 brain teaser, the best way to measure effectiveness is social audit. Now, how social audit does that? How social audit is uh, different? Okay, then citizen charter, etc. We'll discuss separately on app classes. So link is given below in the description and you can check out uh, those app classes uh, where I discuss entire ethics course for 150 hours. So you don't have to study anything else other than my app classes. So effectiveness, I define. Then leadership, I will define. So leadership can be particular traits that in general contribute to be a leader. So even if you want to be leader in your society, you want to be leader in politics, you want to be leader in department you work, you in general you want to be leader in your friend circle there are some general qualities that define leadership so being leader means you need to be you should be having right direction you should be strategic you should be having good communication skill you should be goal oriented you should be able to guide your followers you should be able to provide solution to your followers you should be visionary you should imagine and think about the situations that no one could imagine or think of and the teamwork you should be able to build a team resolve their differences unite them for common purpose like chhatrapati shivaji gandhi uh, like these people so these qualities you write which define the leadership and that's how you in two lines first you introduce the concept now we go into debate okay so this is what we means effectiveness this is what we mean leadership then why good leaders are better than good bosses to be effective why only good leaders will bring about these results and be effective so why bosses won't be able to get effective uh, better results but leaders will be able to get better results why what differs that core argument you have to debate so here guys so leadership may these are the eight qualities i told you direction strategy communication goal guidance solution vision and teamwork okay so now why effective public servant must be good leader rather than good boss if you want to be effective why be a good leader so guys being a good boss mostly the way bosses govern extremely authoritative manner in rule uh, extremely in task oriented manner okay where they get the things done so the, being a boss they are very good in improving productivity in improving efficiency but to be effective you need, you need to be good leader 
ओके सो बीइंग गुड बॉस यू जनरली यूज अथॉरिटी इन अथॉरिटी इन मैनेजर स्टाइल ये रहा डेडलाइन आज शाम तक इतना काम होना चाहिए ये रहा डेडलाइन कल तक ये होना चाहिए ओके बट गुड लीडर गाइज इज अ विजनरी ही थिंग्स अबाउट द एंड रिजल्ट ओके अल्टीमेट आउटकम एंड दैट्स वाई ही डोंट गेट द थिंग्स डन फोर्सफुली ही मोटिवेट्स पीपल ही गाइड्स देम ही मेक क्रिएट्स अ टीम and he channels all their energy towards the common purpose and that's why if you want to be result oriented okay then you need to be better good leader than good boss because alone you won't be able to achieve the results intended you will be able to get the particular thing done but if you want to uh, uh, if uh, you are uh, doing some job and while achieving a target some problem came but you are very bossy personality and any of your team member whom you have scolded whom you have not made feel good and he knows the solution how to deal with that he might not provide you with that solution and that's why you need to able to connect with the people okay and that's why being more than being a boss you need to be a leader and then only you will be able to deliver performance deliver result and so good boss typically relies on their authority positional power i will fire you i will transfer you okay that's how bosses behave and they have power to direct and control their team okay and so bosses prioritize task enforce rules make decision based on their positional authority they enforce rules why you came late for the office office opens at 10 no you should be considerate as a leader okay yeah you might be having some personal issues so i will let you come late but you should be working extra one hour in the, uh, in the evening and should deliver the result you should be little bit flexible in rules considerate okay then only that person okay will work extra hard for you to deliver the result suppose you are uh, working in office there is some uh, uh, pregnant lady in your office she won't be able to work on time it she will be experience a lot of hormonal changes she will have to go to washroom breaks uh, multiple times she would feel a hunger uh, pangs continuously so as a, a leader if you treat her with compassion okay with sentiments bond with her and treat her uh, uh, with dignity respect that tomorrow okay after a delivery if you have to meet some deadline you are under pressure okay the same lady will go extra mile for you to help you to uh, help you achieve your goals and that's why okay bosses more focus on rules task oriented uh, leadership ke ma- manner mein they govern while uh, leaders re- work in a relationship oriented manner so uh, at in industrial psychology mein these are the re- leadership styles task oriented leadership and uh, uh, relationship oriented re- leadership style authoritative management style and participatory man- or democratic management styles and leaders generally use this democratic participative management style okay uh, democratic uh, leadership styles relationship oriented leadership styles bosses generally use authoritative okay task oriented leadership styles and so you don't have to go in technicalities of these leadership styles but just understand these basic concepts so but good leader guys on other hand focuses on influencing and inspiring their team members to achieve common goals they influence their team member to achieve common goals they lead by example empower their team and foster collaboration and trust to drive performance okay so good leader on other hand focus on influencing and inspiring team members okay motivating them okay aligning their uh, interest with the organizational interest and so they lead by example they empower their team and foster sense of collaboration trust to drive the performance they create sense of collaboration trust and take or create a sense of unity team building uh, uh, what they manage to do then uske alawa i am giving you bit descriptively you can shorten this and write uh, uh, precisely then good bosses may adopt more directive authoritarian management style task oriented management style and have transactional relationship with their team members focusing on task completion and performance evaluation you perform well you complete task on time you achieve the deadlines you achieve target here ha good performance appraisal they are more okay have a transactional relationship task oriented relationship authoritarian management style okay with that you can achieve few deadlines but if you want to be effective as a organization achieve something good come up with great solution like apple 13 apple 14 like that something innovative okay then you need to be more relationship oriented so good leader tends to employ more participative democratic management style soliciting input from team members you talk with them consider consider uh, or debate discuss with them take their inputs then set the targets and, and uh, uh, then set the goals targets objectives etc and so uh, and delegate responsibility encouraging autonomy and innovation 
then boss does not want to give his authority positional authority to uh, lower other people leaders willingly share their uh, authority and so they are they uh, what do you call uh, uh, encourage other people to, uh, people team members to take a uh, leadership role okay be autonomous be independent and only when you give them autonomy independence delegate your powers they will feel more encouraged okay and they will be more innovative they will become more solution oriented and you will be able to achieve your result be effective okay and so you just have to in all your answer how to write that what qualities good leader have that makes him achieve the results better way than the boss effectiveness means result orientation that you should first know if you if you don't know the meaning of this core term effectiveness okay then you will perform very badly in your answer so that's why ethics may this value loaded term ka conceptual clarity is very very important so good leader takes more strategic and visionary approach to goal setting aligning team objectives with broader organizational goals and inspiring sense of purpose and commitment among team members okay so good leader takes more strategic and visionary approach to goal setting okay so very strategic visionary approach to goal setting aligning team objectives with broader organizational goals okay so good leader takes more strategic strategic approach means you continuously come up with new solution new uh, uh, you rework your plans okay if you have face any blockages or you face any problems you quickly come up with new uh, solutions and so good leader is uh, takes more strategic visionary approach to goal setting aligning team objectives with broader organizational goals and inspiring sense of purpose and commitment among the team members so good leader makes team member feel valued encouraged make them feel that they are participating their interests are linked with organizational interest they get sense of achievement sense of purpose working with you and only when you inspire team to this level okay automatically only these people can deliver better results and so in conclusion guys okay what you have to write that there are some qualities that good boss have okay but these qualities are good to achieve to be productive and be achievement uh, uh, oriented and to be efficient but if we want effectiveness or if you want to increase effectiveness outcome oriented organization if you want to make the organization that delivers results okay which performs and achieves objective then you need some qualities okay which good leader have the extra qualities that good leader have over a boss and these qualities these are these qualities and that's why he is an effective leader so good boss does ensures productivity and efficiency but if you want effectiveness you need to be good leader but for effectiveness in organization one needs to be good leader this is how i am concluding now so good leader has additional personality traits or good boss so good leader have some extra traits which boss doesn't have that is boss is task oriented he is relationship oriented boss is autocratic he is a democratic and so good leader has a collaborative approach democratic cooperative collaborative orientation he is a good team builder he is visionary has a vision and guides uh, his team members he has innovation and adaptability traits okay and because of these traits guys these traits have proved to increase organizational effectiveness in industrial psychology okay these traits are very strongly linked with the effectiveness and that's how why effective leader uh, good leader can only be a effective leader so that's all about aapka uh, being effective uh, leadership style now so here guys we discuss first what is effectiveness we discuss what is leadership style then we discuss three points why good leader is how good leader is different than good boss and then we concluded traits good boss have are good for efficiency traits good leader have are good for effectiveness seven points we have made argument till now then there is another part of the question that three most important leadership qualities that make public servant uh, public servant must possess now they are not asking question understand be very careful while reading question three qualities that will make you good civil servant then you can like integrity probity accountability but in my app classes guys i tell ki if they ask you which three qualities do you do you think you have that will make you good civil servant then guys don't write okay these qualities integrity probity objectivity empathy compassion everyone is going to write the same okay in app classes i discuss i discuss much better qualities uh, qualities which are more relevant 
okay in administration today in administrative context today which even second years etc was talking about like dynamism in civil service okay there aapka uh, this leadership styles in civil service okay uh, service uh, orientation uh, uh, in governance etc so there are many better values okay that we will discuss in app write those make your answer look different unique 10000 12000 students will write same integrity probity objectivity your answer should be different so which but here question is not which qualities will make you civil servant question is clearly which leadership qualities are better okay as a bureaucrat that will make you good bureaucrat so there i told you there are a lot of leadership qualities that we have mentioned in the beginning itself many students will write write about leadership qualities like vision guidance okay team building compassion we have discussed all that in definition already okay now again if you are writing the same that won't give you a mark so here you have to be unique different so other will write three leadership qualities vision guidance compassion you write something different he should give you extra two three marks for this question and these three important qualities guys okay there are a lot of different leadership styles theory x theory y manager task oriented relationship oriented i told you there are mainly leadership styles but in uh, administration if you want to be successful three which are applicable in administration okay are strategic leadership style transformational leadership style and innovative leadership style okay and so uh, the, uh, right now you just write them the strategic means you you are very uh, person who re-strategizes organizes itself transformational leadership means leader who can transform the organization implement completely new policies etc totally change the face of the organization innovative who comes up with continuously new solutions that is dynamic personality innovative orientation in det uh, detail about them we'll discuss in our app classes okay but right now i can't go in detail of all these leadership styles what sub qualities make up those leadership styles etc so right now just remember these three are more important leadership styles according to me to for successful or good public servant and then write one one line on all these three qualities and that's all that you need okay so that's all about this question number 7 uh, so thanks for listening guys i hope you are enjoying this uh, discussion of ethics uh, uh, pyqs so guys if you want comprehensive understanding of ethics paper then uh, check out link given below in the description okay uh, on my darshanik is app okay i have already launched comprehensive uh, ethics course and essay course will also be available which is this essay and ethics courses guys 150 plus hour courses will be a one stop solution as i tell you all the uh, class discussions and my notes you don't have to study anything else okay and i have discussed it so comprehensively that uh, your 70 80% paper doesn't matter upsc or other state civil service examination ka okay will come okay from this uh, notes or from this uh, uh, discussion that we had uh, uh, directly indirectly okay so do stay tuned and thanks for listening